everybody, welcome back to another episode of Scarlet Blade. It's been a while for me since I played this. Um, I don't know, I just... The game's just starting to drag a little bit, and honestly, it starts to become really grindy. Uh, but I still want to continue because I remembered that last time I could do this um, PvP thing, which I was kind of interested in. And we have here, um, as you can see... There's no counters. Uh, 35 versus 35 players, which should be pretty epic. We have here, which is 160 players, so that's pretty epic, but that is from level 20, so I think I will at least continue until I'm level 20 to experience this. That, would, that should be pretty cool. Um, register, I guess? The lyric cannot sound battle for this limb. I don't know, but um, I cannot do that yet. I guess it's a countdown or something. Alright, Arcana. You and your commander have done more than enough for me here. I'm sending you to meet Arryn on the edge of the Betriac and Betriacian Lake. I knew that we were going there. Pay attention, because this is important. Arryn may be a little strange, but... Drazzle Marsh is incredible rich in Stardust. This could be quite a lucrative trip for you if you put in effort. Okay. Just a moment, Arcane. I don't think you should leave this area yet. That free night Stardust rig you discovered could be a perfect opportunity to practice your role as a defender. The Stardust rig, rig? What do you mean? As a defender, it is your duty to protect our fellow Arcana. If the rig technician working on the Stardust rig managed to contact his free knight allies, Idel and her team will be walking straight into a bloodbath. We don't have much time, and you're closest operative in the area. Get in there and eliminate the rig technician before it's too late. Alright. Sure. So I guess they want to fulfill the role or something? Let's talk about an archery. I'm gonna do this first since she was talking about that I should not leave the area yet. This one is also a side mission, but still. Oh, hey, what? Oh, the large tree. Ah, yes, it looks like your efforts to relocate the wolves are working already. I expect the rest of them will leave Hammel's camp in no time. Good work. Thank you. Do I need to, like, put in skills? Oh, what now? There's a narrow canyon to the east that leads to the Betrick and Swamp. Our guard stationed there reports strange blue flowers that are turned up overnight. The speed at which these so-called cloudburst flowers develop is incredible. They could lead to great advances in our cloning technology. Gather a few for them for me, will you? Okay. Where the hell am I going? Wonder if this is like a class-based mission. Are we going back? Collect cloudburst flowers. Hmm. Oh, this guy. All right. Die. Okay, that was easy. Excellent! With the rig cut off from the Free Knight's base, Idel and her team can capture it with no casualties. You've done well, Arcana. Thank you. Don't forget to collect any Stardust you can before you leave. This is protecting territory now. You need every advantage you can get if you want to survive. Okay. Uh, collect Cloudburst flowers. Which should be at the lake. Or near the lake, near the swamp. They actually had a, um, oh, fuck, I need to, of course, get my items that, that, that I got. So I got a two of, heart, two of hearts, which is kind of useless to me now, since I only have clubs, but, oh, wait a minute, I can take, uh, get all. Nice. General. All right, so let's see. Excellent work. If we can figure out what makes these plants develop so quickly, we could clone new arcane at a dramatically increased rate. The Narek wouldn't stand a chance. So 
So this is all selling to stuff. Crimson fern grows wild at the entrance of the Bedrekian Bidric uh, territory. It's inedible, but its leaves are tipped with an unmistakable phosphorescent, phosphorescent orange. Okay. Some of the armor te technicians have Victory. here an in what? Victory? What? The free knights are Janus victorious. Oh, I guess they give you actually a message about the. Can I now join or something? They give you a message about how the PvP is going for the server. Some of the armor technician here in Nosia wants to try adding the ferns for properties to their wares. If you were to gather some, I certainly make it worth your while. Hmm. Weird. Let's see. Ah, you found the crimson fern. <laughs> My hand is groping her boob. Good work! I'll transfer the funds to you right away. Is that it? Alright, speak to Aaron. Who's Aaron? Hello? Being on the surface, seeing this... Ah, I saw you in a so loading screen. Questions. Have you seen the creatures that live in that lake? Gives me the creeps. What? What? What is, is that? Is this your pet or something? Hey there, I'm Eren. Hamal told me he was sending someone my way. I'm guessing that's you? Welcome to Butterkin Lake. We've got it all here. Murderous frog people, tentacled lake monsters, and interdimensional flying squid ghosts. If you were looking for strange, you came to the right place. Okay, that sounds reassuring. Being on the surface, seeing this, I have so many more questions. The, the voice doesn't suit your character at all. This area is a political nightmare. Both factions have an uneasy truce with the Batrican leaders, because we're both after the Stardust they have stashed away under the giant tree of theirs. Unfortunately, not all of these web-toed weirdos are on board with the peace treaty. Groups of Batrican spadefoots have been harassing the guards here, trying to scare us off. I think it's high time we showed them we mean business. Head down the hill a bit and take out any Bitterkin spadefoot that wanders too close to this outpost. Let's show him what a fully trained arcane is capable of. Okay, and then we have a new quest. Commander, this is Lota. Our peace treaty with the Bitterkin is tenuous at best and in constant danger of disintegrating. When that happens, we need to be ready to defeat our former allies. As long as the Bitterkin continue to fraternize with our enemies, they are a potential threat. And with their alien physiology, they are, a, they are a threat we do not fully understand. I require samples, samples, of Batrachian DNA for further study. Use your arcana to defeat the nearby Batrachian slingman and spadefoots, and collect enough genetic samples for my research. But do it qui quietly, we don't want to break this treaty until we have to. Okay. So, spadefoots... Oh well, spadefoots. Because we need them for uh, both quests. Holla! That's one. Uh, Slingman are here. Guess I'll do them too since I need the samples. It's not an or or quest, it's an and and quest. I need to kill them regardless of killing Spadefoots. Alright. I actually got a lot of damage. Still need to kill Slingman. <laughs> Boom! 
boom, die! I'm doing not a lot of damage at all. What the hell's going on? Am I that weak? What is happening? I don't have any new skill points to use. So I'm not sure what's going on. That's more like it. Oh god! I'm wondering what other people are thinking now of this game at this stage where like I said, I, I've been, I think it's a little bit of a drag now. I wonder if other people also think that's the case. Like, look at this. I now need always to kill, like, 15 or something. It's ridiculous. Die! Oh wow, I still need to kill one sling man. I didn't notice that. Damn it. Oh yeah. Excellent. These samples will vastly improve our understanding of the Batrachians. You have done well, Commander. Thank you. I'm almost level up. Ha! See, that spinning thing, you would think it's an AoE attack, but it's not. Which it really should be. Bone powder, sure. And another bone powder. <laughs> Three more. Good God. Oh, hey, that's kind of sweet that they... Replenish now, level 50. Oh, I'm using level 10, of course. How much level 15 do I have? Eleven, alright. Guess that's good news. Oh, report to Aaron, alright. Let's go! And I will probably level up then when I hand that in. Seeing on the surface, seeing this, I have so many more questions. Ha! I saw the fight from here. That'll teach those bug eaters to mess with us. I rigged up an old transmitter to collect data on the surrounding area, free nights activity, troop movements, etc. It's been throwing off some weird readings lately, though, and I'm worried that the Petrachians are messing with it. Could you go down to the lowest bridge in the lake and retrieve my data for me? It'll only take a second, I promise. Alright, so a fetch quest. Is that the only quest that I have? Hmm. Well, I also have uh, this. 
16. To which I guess that that's that blue girl that's asking me to uh, collect shit all the time. Tender Diva. Oh god, that's a nibble! Oh my god, no! <laughs> what? Game? Are you- Do you actually have also nudity in the fucking- Huh, okay. In the- How am I- Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to blur that. Uh, okay. I see how it is. Well! <laughs> okay. It's all like adult, beep, 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 but it's more like, oh my god, I want to see boobies! And I didn't think this game would go that low, but it actually did. That's very unfortunate. Now, I only have one quest, so I'm kind of wondering what will happen if I get the data. They maybe will flip out. Give me a whole bunch of quests, all at the same time. Oh, I uh, actually did read, but complete probably. Data chip has been collected. Okay. Report Terran. Well, that was easy. And indeed, only took like a second. If people are wondering why I've why I flipped out so much about the, the the nipple thing, is because I have to blur that for YouTube, of course. It's not like like oh my god boobies, but it's like oh my god no, I have to do. More editing. <laughs> There's so much to study here. This ecology is all new to us. See, I told you that wouldn't take long. Wait a minute. This data chip has been corrupted. There's no way the Protarchians could have done this. They don't have the technological know-how. This is free nice written all over it. Okay. What's next? This is the last straw. We cannot allow the Petrakians to sit idle by while Free Knights agents sabotage our equipment. Peace treat you or not, they can no longer afford their precious neutrality. I'm dwelling to the north, you will find Burn, the leader of the Petrakian water shamans. Or shamans, whatever. Confront him with this treachery and demand that he renounce this tribe's treaty with the Free Knight scum. And Commander, make sure your Arcanus is ready to fight. If these beasts aren't with us, they're against us. Wow, okay, I joined Hitler, apparently. It's high time they learn exactly what that means. Artifact? By triggering an artifact? What the fuck was that? Maybe for a later quest. You should know it hurts our feelings when you look at us and make that face. Okay. You, you should sound like a murloc more, but okay. Shaman Burn! I come as a royal guard's emissary. We have indisputable proof that your tribe is sheltering free night terrorists and demand that you renounce your treaty with them at once. Failure to do so will interpret it as a declaration of war. You humans and your arrogance! Oh wait, you're not human at all, are you? You're nothing but a dog on a leash. Run back to your masters, dog.